Good morning, Yemi. Good morning, Liana. Yemi, you've been working as a biotech entrepreneur for many um, years, and it all really started at Harvard, where you developed a special kind of sequencing technology. Tell us, what is sequencing anyway? Well, DNA or RNA sequencing is basically a technology that allows us to read the genome of any organism. The genome is a long sequence of DNA or RNA. You can imagine the genome has a very big book that contains all the instructions for how an organism is built. For us humans, for example, that book contains up to 3.2 billion letters, or what in scientific terms is called base pairs. And I understand the sequencing is done by sequencing machines. And I understand that these sequencing machines have evolved very fast in the, in the last few decades, correct? Yes, the technology has evolved incredibly fast. Believe it or not, today there are sequencing machines that are the size of a USB stick that you can connect even to your cell phone. Wow, that's cool. And why is genome sequencing important? Well, DNA sequencing has basically brought revolution to science. It has allowed scientists to understand a lot of different diseases, such as different cancers or hereditary diseases. It has also allowed the development of disease diagnostics and treatment, and to understand that evolution and many other things. And how about COVID-19? Has sequencing been important for this disease as well? Absolutely, very much so. First of all, sequencing the coronavirus genome was the very first step to developing the PCR test that is now used widely as a standard COVID-19 test. It was the very first thing that scientists did when the virus appeared, sequencing its genome. Also, fully sequenced genome is helping scientists understand how this virus is special. And there are already some very interesting insights and I'm very sure soon scientists will be able to explain many aspects of the COVID-19 disease by studying the genome sequence of the virus. And then during the COVID-19 pandemic, we're experiencing a widespread of large amount of false information and conspiracy theories. What do you think about this? Well, that's funny. You know, the World Health Organization has even named this infodemia. Well, I would just say, say um, with the deluge of information, let's stick to the science. Yami, thank you very much and good luck with your work. Clara de Virginia.